Hi guys, my name is Mautrisha Chakravarti. I'm a part of this analytics world. So what we have observed that most of the people who are especially not from the statistical background, they are very much scared of statistics. So now this webinar is conducted only to make you understand even if you are not from statistical background then also you can be a part of analytics and you can implement the statistical concept very easily so guys please let me know what do you think what is statistics even if you are not from the statistical background you might have some concept Guys, please mute yeah. yourself. Yeah, so anyone who wants to say, uh, so okay, just um, I wanted to introduce myself also. Uh, I'm from Ivy, so is Montusha. Um, Montusha is an expert in statistics. I mean, whoever, uh, she's a trainer with us, and whoever. Uh, has uh, taken her sessions, uh, you know, definitely goes on to say that she is very clear on her concepts and I'm sure she will uh, make sure that you understand the concept and this time she will be discussing regression. So, but the whole, you know, the idea of conducting this session was that most people are very scared of statistics, uh, including me. So when we enter into analytics, you know, uh, we feel that, okay, you are, and as a professional, if you have an industry experience, you feel you have to go back to those big fat thick uh, books uh, that, you know, you have to read. But it's nothing like that. If you have some basic concepts clear, uh, I think that should take you through. So let's discuss through it. And uh, in case, uh, as Matrisha has, you know, just questioned, whoever has an idea, like maybe one or one or two of you, whoever feels that they can uh, tell us what is the idea of statistics in your mind, you can share that with us. Share that with us, Motrisha. Yeah. So. All right. Yes, guys. So, please tell me what do you think? What is statistics? Now my voice is clear, guys. Can you hear me clearly? Okay. So, can you please try to answer me what is statistics? Okay. Let me show you one example. Now, I'm having one data, okay? It is showing me that less number of accidents on rainy days versus non-rainy days. So, this is my data. Yes, Aisharia, it's true. It's telling us some information, but only the information? So, you tell me what information you are getting from this data. Less number of accidents on rainy days versus non-rainy days. Okay, analyzing the data. So you just answer me. What you can interpret from this data? Less number of accidents on rainy days. Means on rainy days, we are having less number of accidents. What does it mean? Okay, so it means rainy day is not safe. We are having less number of accidents on rainy days and it's not safe. Okay. Okay. Correlation, Amita, this is a part of statistics. That is not all about statistics. Okay, so less probability, right? So can you less car, lesser car, so less probability of an accident. It might be may, by chance also people might be okay, careful during rain. Okay, okay, so more or less you people can infer that basic thing, right? So I don't know why you people are scared of because you answered me correctly. So what you will interpret from this data, that less number of uh, accidents are there. Okay, this is the information what I'm getting. 
this is also a part of statistics okay we call it descriptive statistics now some of them have told me that okay on rainy days because few cars are there so few accidents are there right so this is your inference what you can infer so data is just something what you can visualize right but from visualization what you can interpret that is all about statistics so let's come to the definition of statistics it is a science of data it is concerned with data collection means when we are gathering the data gathering the information that is a part of statistics summarizing the information that is in our example less number of car accidents right drawing calcul uh, conclusion and predicting future so what conclusion we made that on rainy days a very less number of cars are there on road so that's why the probability of accidents is very limited right so that is our inference that is our conclusion so being an analyst what you should know you should know how to read the data how to describe it and from this description how will you interpret the result okay so statistics can be divided into some parts the first one is the descriptive one it is summarizing the data means in our example it is less number of car accidents are there and inferential data statistics which helps in drawing conclusion from data and predicting the future here on rainy days less cars on road and that's why less car accidents in absolute term right because relatively if you see as because few cars are there so <clears throat> number of accidents will be lower compared to the non rainy days but if you see the relative time term <clears throat> so obviously percentage of accidents is very high in case of rainy days so that is the main thing what you should know as an analyst you don't have to calculate anything you don't have to you know uh, remember so many formulas you should know how to interpret the result you are going to use a statistical software right it's going to do each and everything for you it will give you the result the output okay obviously the statistical output and you have to interpret the result when you are interpreting the result you should know only the concept nothing else is required to remember and now what is analytics we are having a data and we have to analyze it systematically that is analytics and obviously statistical concept along with our analyzing power that is made the concept of analytics and what are the applications yashio yeah, sure. right it depends on the data and it depends on the you know project what you are handling okay you are the analyst it's your responsibility to interpret the result so if you are having a better understanding of a particular industry of a particular event then obviously you can analyze it in a better way so that's why we are here right guys okay so here what are the applications of analytics we are here to describe the events what we did predict the future events and obviously why clients are hiring us or they are giving us a project so that we can make some conclusion we can suggest them something to improve their business performance okay now analytics and statistics they are complements 
what do you understand by this word complements have you ever heard of this word complements complementary good and substitute can you tell me what does it mean complements okay so are you from statistical background yeah okay okay complete each other right used together okay used together means join they enhance each other right they go side by side very good guys i'm impressed so i hope you people are not scared of tea and milk tea and sugar nowadays most of the people are not taking milk with tea right they are very much health conscious so you can use the example of tea and sugar right is yes, they are complements car and petrol right a very good example yes so they are related with each other okay good so complements means when they are used together when there is any change in one factor another factor is also getting affected so analytics and statistics they are not substitutes they can't substitute each other they are actually complements okay they will go together they will you know help each other so that is what we call complements now here you can see analytics it is having three branches right one is descriptive another one is predictive another one is prescriptive now in descriptive some concepts of statistics are coming right what are those have you heard of that average central tendency dispersion probability concept that we have already i mean we have gone through this concept or so many in so many examples we have used this term probability so probability and then sampling when we are collecting data actually we are using the concept of sampling right amit very good so average probability sampling estimation all these are part of descriptive analytics where we are describing the data when you are getting a data you should understand the structure of the data right and then the description of that event just like our previous example less number of car accidents right or suppose if i want to know the average monthly sales of a firm for last 5 years right so that is what our descriptive analytics what is predictive what are the concepts are coming under this part regression forecasting okay suppose how the price discounts this can influence the average sales of our product right so here we are trying to find out the relationship as well as we want to predict the value of our sale if we change the price or discount so how they are related how they are influencing our variable our average sales that is what predictive variable analytics another one is prescriptive analytics this is what optimization okay now which actions should we take to maximize sales that is what prescriptive prescription prescription right we got from our doctors so this is what prescriptive what actions should we take to get an optimum result that is what your prescriptive analytics now tell me do you really think it's too tough and so confusing especially if you are not from this statistical background or eco background guys please answer me if you are not from statistical background are you scared of statistics i want answer from those people okay okay so you people are not from statistical background 
Sumit, you are from which background? Okay, okay. Okay. If you are from economics background, so you should not be scared of statistics, right? So I'm not considering those people who are from mathematics or statistics or eco background. Okay. Okay. So it's too tough or at least to some extent you people are scared of this term statistics. And as because you people are going to be a part of analytics world. So and we already know that statistics plays a very important role in analytics. So you should get rid of that fear, right? Now, why we are calling it too easy? Why it's not so tough in analytics? Because see, if you had this subject in your graduation or post graduation, no, Pluton, I can't hear you. Please write down. Please write down your message. Pluton. Okay, Kashi is scared of a bit of regression. Okay, so this session is going to help you out because I'm going to discuss regression only okay okay so whoever had statistics you know they know that it involves so big big calculations long calculations so many tough formulas okay so if you are not from statistical background after hearing these things, obviously, it's very much obvious that you will start, you know, uh, uh, getting scared of this subject because long, long calculations and a very, very big and tough formula, if you have to remember. So it's very tough. But here, when you are going to be an analyst, you are not going to calculate it manually. So no long and manual calculation will be involved. Your system will calculate it. No need to remember any formula as because you don't have to do any calculation. So there is no need to remember any formula as well, right? So now what do you think? Is it easy to understand statistics because you don't have to remember any formula. You don't have to do any calculation. Only you have to make clear the concept, the statistical concept. And that's why we people are here. Need to learn only the interpretation of the result. Okay. If you are getting a result, how will you interpret? So if your concept is clear, so it's very easy to interpret the result, right? So now what do you think? Is it very tough or too, you know, confusing? BTEC students or non-statistical background students, what do you think? If you don't have to do any calculation, if you don't have to remember any formula, what do you think? It's going to be very easy, right? Okay. No, Sumit, you will decide it later. But what do you think? If calculation is you don't have to do, so it's going to be a pretty easier, right? At least to some extent. Okay. Okay, great. So after this session, I think you will be confident enough, right, in statistics. Let's see. So let's move on, guys. Okay. So what is regression analysis, right? You know, it's a very, very famous concept in predictive analytics. Okay. 
so today i'm going to discuss this statistical concept in this session and after discussing it there is a quiz for you and then i will ask some question from regression hopefully all of you will be able to answer those questions okay even if you are not from this statistical background so what is regression analysis right so suppose we are having two variables okay two variables means when its value is getting changed okay then we call it variable when we call that data as variable one now here we are having two variables products demand and products price okay now from your you know common sense what do you think price and demand they should be related with each other right price of a product and demand for that product should be related with each other okay sumit so what do you think will there be any relationship okay right guys good so that means they are related with each other right so that is what correlation suppose we are considering only the normal good okay i'm not going to any special cases for inferior one for luxury one especially for the luxury one i'm not going to that part okay so here the normal good right so i'm thinking it normally that price and demand they are related with each other if price increases demand for that product decreases right so inverse or negative relationship they are having so from correlation concept we get to understand we get to know whether there is any relationship between two variables or not okay but now suppose if i want to know how price influences demand means if there is increase in price how will it affect the demand for my product okay if price increases by 50 units okay my demand will be decrease but by how much yes demand will fall definitely rohit but by how much can you answer it from your correlation concept because you people have answered me that they are inversely related correlated okay correlated means if they are related with each other or not okay now if i ask you that okay so if the price increases by 50 units my demand will be decreased by how much no it doesn't depend on the demand function non statistical background students Shupriya you are from statistical background Kamal okay okay Teja what is your background okay so so many answers i'm getting that is not demand function that is derivative function right yes no kamal not correlation coefficient it's not from correlation coefficient correlation coefficient can tell you i mean the relationship is strong or weak okay we take previous data of the data not for discrete okay i got your point sumit can you answer me ritik are you from statistical background or eco background 
Okay, great. So you are from non-statistical background. Great. So Mate, can you please answer me? Okay. See, from correlation concept, we only can tell whether they are related with each other or not. Okay. So if I want to know if there is increase in price, okay, the demand would be affected by how much? Then we use this regression concept. Okay. Suppose if we want to predict the product's demand. If the price is suppose 500. Okay. What would be the demand for my product? I want to predict something. Right. Here also I am going to use the regression. Yes. Right. It depends on the coefficient. So if the price is 500 what would be the demand for the product okay so we are predicting something so here also we are using the regression analysis so the magnitude of change for prediction we are using regression analysis right now So this is our regression equation. Yes, right. So this is what our regression equation. Now let me explain each part of this equation. See, if you're from BTEC background, if you're from, you know, mathematics background, or at least we people know the straight line equation, okay? In standard 10 or 12, we did it. Straight line equation, right? So when we are doing regression analysis, so obviously it should have some equation, right? And this is the equation of regression. Okay, and you know, this is a equation of what? Straight line. Am I right or wrong? Tell me. Is it an equation of straight line or not? Okay. So, it's a... Uh, right. Great. So, you people know, this is an equation of straight line. Okay. Now, this is my constant term. This is my slope. This is something extra. What I have added in my regression equation. I'm going to explain each part of it. Okay. Yes, residual. And here we are going to call it error term. Okay. Afterwards, we can use it as, yes, residual. I'm not going to that point. Okay. So, yes. So, this is my straight line equation. Now, this quantity or demand. Okay. Quantity demand or demand is my what? Dependent variable, the demand for my product, the quantity demand for my product, that is the dependent variable, right? And this price is independent variable. What does it mean? Okay. See, in regression equation, when we are using it, this is what error term and uh, residual is obviously can be explained by this error term only. They are synonymous, but residual term we use after predicting when we are calculating the difference between the observed one and the predictive one. So here you, I would suggest you to use the word error, error term. when we will just uh, compare between the predicted value and the observed value. But that is in advanced level, guys. Okay, so, yes, 
i will explain it to you each and every term whatever i have used over here i am going to tell you the interpretation okay how will you interpret this term now first let me tell you what is dependent and what is independent variable now what i want to know if there is any change in price how it will affect my products quantity demand right so here this quantity demand is the dependent variable because its value is depending on its price am i right guys my products demand is depending on its price right so that's why this is what we call dependent variable and price can influence my dependent variable right so this is what independent variable so here the price is independent variable okay now if we plot this regression equation we will get a straight line like this so this is my intercept term my constant term this is what my slope and error term is something else what i am going to discuss afterwards yes i am going to discuss that you have to wait only just for 2 minutes okay i am going to explain it to you yes i'm it's right okay now have you understood this regression equation only the regression equation it's a straight line and the term and why the quantity is dependent variable and why the price is independent variable have you understood it okay only the concept who are not from statistical background please confirm me then i will proceed okay great thank you then let's proceed now we have already discussed that this is a straight line equation okay so when we will start doing some set, um, you know the classes of statistical software you will hear the term linear linear regression model why this linear term has been used because it's following up the straight line equation it means straight that's why we call it linear regression model and why is it simple here i have considered only one independent variable that is price right so that's why we are calling it simple linear regression model okay but suppose if we are having a number of variables right just like price and income income of the customers and price of the product okay so i might have so many variables in my regression equation which can affect my dependent variable right so then we are calling it multiple linear regression model so why we are calling it linear because it's following up the straight line equation okay when we are having only one independent variable we are calling it simple linear regression model when we are having more than one independent variables then we are calling it multiple linear regression model is it clear guys next i will explain each term of our regression equation how will you interpret now suppose this first line this is the regression equations result your system has been given you this result only quantity is equal to 5 minus 2 of price plus e for the time being don't consider this e part okay just 
let me know what do you understand by this value 5 guys looking at this value 5 what can you interpret it's following up a straight line equation right so if you know okay so if you know okay intercept right yeah Amit you are correct okay so let me just enter value of dependent variable no it's not a value of dependent variable this is the intercept terms value right how will you interpret let me tell you it means if the price yes so if the price of my product is zero suppose then also there might be a positive demand for my product let's say yes right that is a very much mathematical interpretation mechanical interpretation right now here as an analyst you have to interpret in my way how you are going to do it let me explain suppose consumption and income okay there is a positive relationship if your income is increasing it is expected that your consumption is also increasing right now if your income is zero then also you have to consume something to survive right your independent variable is what income and your dependent variable is what consumption okay your consumption depends on your income now when suppose you are not getting a job and somehow i just lost my job okay so my income becomes zero but to survive i need to consume something anyway i need to add in some money and then i need to have some food right to survive right guys so even if my independent variables value is zero then also there is a positive value of my dependent variable okay that is what your intercept value telling about so here intercept value is 5 it means that if the price of the product will become 0 then the demand for the product will be 5 units means I'm charging nothing okay so then also there would be a positive value of my products demand and this five is telling me that fact have you got my point guys this interpretation is very important if you are getting this interpretation so your statistical you know statistics will become very very easy okay so you have understood it right and this is your slope minus 2 of price what does it mean first of all there is a negative sign there is a negative sign right what does it mean it means that there is a negative relationship between dependent and independent variable we already know it right that if price increases demand decreases right this minus sign is telling us about the relationship between price and quantity. What type of relationship they are having between them. So they are having an inverse relationship, negative relationship. That's why we have a negative sign. Now, how will you interpret this 
value 2. Now this is also very 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 important. This is a slope. Okay. Now in mathematical term this is a slope. Now as an analyst how will you interpret this result? If price increases. Is right. If price increases by one unit the quantity demand will be decreased by two units on average if price increases by one unit i asked you i mean when we were just about to start the regression analysis i asked you one thing that if my price increases by 50 units okay the quantity demand will be decreased but by how much okay how will you get to know so this slope term will help you out right the slope term will help you out to answer that question if your price is increases by one unit your quantity demand will be decreased by two units this is how you will interpret the slope term yeah obviously but practically this is the difference practically you can't keep everything constant okay that is just an ex assumption okay so guys have you understood the interpretation of this intercept value and the slope value okay S term obviously how will you interpret the value of your intercept and the value of your slope Let me know guys. Please answer me. Non-statistical guys. Okay. Others please answer me. Okay. Great. Two, it is derived. It is derived, obviously. There is a formula. Okay? I'm coming to that point. I will discuss that thing. Okay? The interpretation you have understood. Right? This is the main thing what you should know. Yeah. The formula you don't have to remember. When you will do statistical classes, statistics classes, the formula is also given to you. But when you will start analyzing your data using different type of software, this result would be given to you. Okay? Yes, right. So the system will give you this output. Okay? There you don't have to remember the formula. Ayan, what is your problem? Don't consider five. Uh, by formula, are you referring to the mathematical derivation of this thing? Yes, so actually, regression equation, there is a slope and that intercept terms value. Okay, that uh, that is derived yeah. from a formula. Okay, we call it like uh, ordinary least square method. Following up that method, we can derive yeah. the formula of slope and intercept. Okay, a very big formula is there. Mm -hmm. Even if you are you are from statistical background, it's not possible to remember these formulas every time. So, and in interview, no one is going to ask you what is the formula of it. They will ask you that uh, 
what is regression do you know what is regression okay how will you interpret the intercept term how will you interpret the slope term ayan you don't have to consider that five okay. units it is something else it is just an intercept term okay don't go to that calculation for the time being try to understand the interpretation okay no values are not assumptions here i have assumed something okay the system will give you see the thing is that here i'm discussing only the regression concept yes tell me just a very small question i have yeah yeah uh generally in regression you know uh, we tend to look at the r squared and the adjusted r squared yeah yeah sure. to look into the amount of the kind of right isn't it now the mm -hmm. interview might ask mm -hmm. that what is the difference and at that point in time i might have to explain in terms of mathematics what the difference no, is no 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 you don't have to use Because the mathematical term what is r squared if anyone is asking you okay you have to answer it giving a very simple business example i'm telling you from my own experience like what would that be okay Okay. So, so if they are asking you what is regression, uh, you are not going to tell them the formula of intercept term, the formula of slope. You are going to tell them regression when you want to predict the value of your dependent variable. Okay. If there is any change in your independent okay. variable, so that thing you can get, you can predict by using that regression analysis concept. Then they can ask you that. how will you interpret the intercept term how will you interpret the slope term so that time you can use any simple example and can explain it to them they want to know whether you know the concept or not and whether you know how to implement the concept or not okay they are not going to ask you the formula <laughs> and this is a straight line equation okay. so it's very simple to remember <laughs> some equation something you have to remember but that is very 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 simple just like your a square minus b square formula we never forget it right so some basic formulas are there what you have to remember okay not very difficult one mm -hmm. okay Yeah, so uh, Aki, the values are not assumptions. Here, I have assumed something. System will give you when you will run the model. I'm not going to that part because that is an advanced level. This is only a discussion. This is only, um, you know, a session where I can make you understand how you can interpret the statistical concept in practical life. Okay, so that. who are scared of this statistical concept they will get rid of their fear okay okay thanks okay so let's proceed then now come to this error term okay suppose you are having a multiple linear regression equation right we have considered price of the product income of the product right there might be so many factors which can affect the dependent variable but we have not considered in our equation right guys are you getting my point when we have considered price and income there are so many factors factors left out which might have effect on my dependent variable but at a point of time or at the same time you can't include all of them in your regression equation you can include 200 variables then also you might have mm -hmm. some other factors left out okay which are having effect on your dependent variable 
okay so if we want to include their effect in our model then we are using this error term we are summing up the effects of all those external factors external factors means means those factors what we have not included in our regression equation okay they are external factors so we are just summing up their factors and we are putting e actually epsilon we use epsilon here we use e okay and uh, we incorporate in our regression equation to show the effect of those external factors on my dependent variable just like our demonetization when i build up this regression equation i didn't consider demonetization's effect so many socio economic factors might be there which might affect my dependent variable so i need to consider their effect so i'm considering i'm summing up their effects and i'm just putting e in my equation regression equation which will indicate those external factors effect on my dependent variable so here you see i have used the example of demonetization it has an effect on the demand but we didn't include it in our regression equation this is what your error term have you got my point guys Uh, yeah. Is demonetization a new predictor you are actually trying to mention yes, or something? Yes, yes, it is a predictor, but I have not included it in my equation, right? And there are so many socio-economic factors which okay. can affect uh, demand of my product. Okay, so I need to consider that's their right. effects. So that's why what I am doing, I am just putting. e or f silent in my regression equation which is actually indicating their effects okay now is yeah. it clear there, there might be interaction effect as well yeah okay so now now the question do you have to remember that the formula of slope and intercept obviously not kamal obviously there is a way to do it i'm not going to that part okay uh okay so in this session we have focused on the interpretation part if we do if we uh, if you people do the statistical classes the formulas would be given to you but in those classes also even when you will do the different type of software the instructor always will ask you to give more importance to your interpretation part the coding part the formula is available in internet but no one is going to interpret the result if you get a pdf you only go through the concepts sometimes it would be very difficult to understand so that's why it is very very important to understand the interpretation the concept first formula the derivation part if you know the approach if it is given to you you can derive it by yourself the code is also available in internet okay but if you want to understand statistical interpretation you should know the concept okay and how will you interpret the result that you should know so here also we are not going to remember any formula of slope and intercept okay we should know only the interpretation which will help us to find a conclusion and take a strategy okay now there are so many practical examples okay so can you people uh, i mean tell me that where we can use this regression analysis concept industry wise now you know what actually the regression analysis is doing right 
so simple simple example can you give me where we can use the regression analysis concept predictive analysis is something predictive. right it is coming under that predictive analysis give me some example very basic and very easy example in retail market and how will you use this concept example okay stocks what you want to know real estate okay these are the industries right very good rainfall and yield of crop that is the correlation plus regression is there advertising and sales very good okay so these are the practical examples a pharmaceutical company it can use to identify a suitable expiration date a credit card company apply regression analysis yeah right uh, regression analysis to predict monthly gift card sales and improve yearly revenue projections okay yeah great so that's in the e-commerce uh, right. for every testing right. we can Everywhere. do it wherever we want to predict something right and we want to know is there any relationship or not and how it's going to affect in insurance company in banking sector everywhere they are going to use this regression concept so regression analysis is very very important for your analytics career okay now i hope the concepts are clear so now i will move to the quiz part okay where one data is given to you one regression equation you can see and i will ask you to interpret each term of this regression equation this is what we have sales for each right, unit we'll increase in price the unit in sales increases by 25 okay uh, can you please write it down because for... if you say everyone can hear you and they will not answer me kindly everyone okay. please write down your answers how will you interpret what is sale okay aishwarya if it is 350 how will you interpret the result okay shupriya answer me privately please non statistical background students please answer me sales means what sumit okay okay let me call you one by one and just answer me then okay uh, okay sumit but uh, just answer me something what how will you interpret 350 first you answer me and then you will leave i have no problem sumit how will you interpret 350 You are not from statistical background, right? And you are confused. Yes, and you. Uh... Yeah. Pluton. Yes. Well, I'm not from a statistical background, so just sort of, you know. Okay, so you just answer me. How will you interpret this 350? Uh, I'll send you the message. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let me. Yes, yes, yes. very good yes very good so you have got this you know concepts okay guys so okay. great shupriya okay akhi okay so will you please explain 350 terms 25 and 75 
Okay, great. So you only wish uh, <coughs> this session could have been a bit longer. Yeah. <coughs> I only wish this session could have been a little longer. I mean, it's a lot of interesting things you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So, didn't you get it interesting? Well, or... I did. Okay. So, yeah, see, in just one session. But again, I you know. Yeah, that I can understand. See, in I just understand. one session, it's not possible to cover up all the topics, right? So I have considered the Absolutely. very, very important topic that is regression analysis. And I made you people understand that, yeah, so you should understand the concept only. And in interview also, you are going to face this type of questions. No one is going to ask you the formula. So that is the, mm -hmm. you know, that was but my option. I, I have a quick question. Yeah. Uh, perhaps uh, might be within the context. Mm -hmm. uh, don't you think if I am to interpret, you know, there are a lot of jargon we uh, generally from a person like um, uh, no engineering background. Mm -hmm. So uh, we do find uh, some effort of sort of jargon uh, like chi squared and uh, See, lot of yeah. things. Yes, this now, kind of uh, are there, and those are very, very important one also. Yeah. And in our statistics class, we cover yeah. up all those concepts. Okay. Uh, I mean, I yeah, be is was actually, Yeah, yeah. The question actually is like, uh, I know that, okay, uh, if I have a chi squared with a certain degrees of freedom and with certain p value, I reject or accept null mm -hmm. hypothesis. Mm -hmm. But don't you think that uh, how the chi squared itself statistic is getting calculated would actually give a person more confidence to actually go ahead and work on it or do something or because. Then uh, I would tell you. Uh, would be very yeah, mechanical. Yeah, sure. No, it's not actually mechanical. Let me tell you something. Uh, Riddhik, I'm going to answer your question. Yeah, let me just answer Pluton and then I'm coming to your point. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, see, we are from statistical background. I'm from economics background. Okay, so we know how to calculate these things, but we didn't know how mm -hmm. to implement the statistical concepts practically. When I came to okay. this world, this analytics world, I understood that here you have to understand the concept only when you are using the chi-square test, when you are using the regression concept, when you are using the correlation coefficient concept. This is very important. When we had this in our graduation, in our post-graduation, mm -hmm. we never thought like that. We didn't yeah. know how to implement it in practically and if you don't know it's practical uses is actually useless so that's why we people are telling you that you have to clear your yeah, that's right. if you know when and how to implement your concept then obviously you are going to rock in analytics world now for your own good for your own interest if you want to know the calculation so many books are there you can just go through those books you can just you know know the procedure how it is calculated that you can do by yourself only but in analytics it is not required the requirement is to know the interpretation and when you are going to use the chi-square test no one is going to ask you the formula they are going to ask you you are talking about chi-square do you know when do we do this chi-square test they are going to ask you this thing because they also know the formula is available in internet. The code is available in internet. Okay. But they want to know whether you know when to apply what concept. That is the main thing. Okay. Now, yes. Okay. Riddhi. Yeah. Advertisement is taken as the second independent variable, right? And not as the error term. Yes, Riddhi. Here, I have not considered error term. Okay, I have only given two independent variables, which is slope and intercept. That is what. Another question I have, uh, if I'm allowed to, I'm asking maybe a little bit. Uh, yeah, uh, just a second. Uh, yeah, 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 sure, just a second. Shomona, if the price uh, of drug increases by one, you know, the sales will increase. Yes, right, right, Shomona, your answer is correct. Okay. 
Yeah. Now I'm a person. Uh, now I'm a person from an engineering background with mm-hmm. uh, you know uh, industry experience in information management. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, do you think you know um, uh, a person like me? Uh, I have uh, experience of around eleven plus years in uh, various industry. Uh, if I want to really make a you know uh, mark in this field or like you know enter into this field, mm-hmm. and I'm not from a stat, I'm not a stat guy. Okay, I uh, never had uh, the stat things like mm-hmm. you guys had mm-hmm. in your subjects and whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Do you think it would be really really difficult? Um, because I, I I have a feeling I'm not very sure that unless I'm absolutely not. Dip, uh, you are from so many like people today. are coming from the B.Tech background. So many people are coming from the engineering background who are experienced who have experienced more than ten years in engineering. See, uh, right. each and every field's experience is going to help you out. Analytics is not only about your statistics. you should understand the industry as well and as because you are from the this t- sort of industries the it industries or if you are from banking industry for any industry if you are having some sort of industrial knowledge you are having see system can give you any output right the formula you don't have to remember right. you know how to interpret the result even if you are getting a result you are going to accept it or reject it that's also depending on you Okay, so obviously, uh-huh. any sort of experience does matter. Okay, so don't get worried. Uh, you know, even if you are from the engineering background, then also you are having a great chances to get a good opportunity in analytics world. You can utilize your experience over there as well as this analytics programs knowledge. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. So um, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, you can leave. So I hope you people have, uh, you know, find it interesting and useful. And for, and I hope this PPT would be available to you. Okay, so don't get worried about it. So uh-huh. so if you people are. you know clear enough in this concept so now i will just uh, finish this session or if you are having any doubts or queries let me know please guys uh no kamal the error term uh, is absolute okay. and i am going to tell you kamal we will insert any error term actually the error term we are going to interpret when we will talk about the residual okay there we are going to use that error term and error term interpretation would be same it's going to indicate other external factors effect in your regression equation okay and some advanced level knowledge you should have like what is residual and all those things i'm not covering up those concepts over here but obviously uh, there is a term residual what is actually we are going to use in our regression analysis part Okay, great. Ayan, uh, just let me okay. see your uh, question, please. Uh, and can you please write down your query once again because I'm not getting it. So many messages. Are there. Yeah. And the uh, session is over. Yeah, you can. Uh, yes. Can I, yeah, Pluto. Can I uh, yes, pose yes. my last question? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank sure. you. Uh, now uh, these days I could see a lot of you know uh, online websites and online courses you know coming up as you are already aware of the market scenario. Mm-hmm. Uh, talking about uh, this course will actually help you learn uh, migration, linear programming, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, now, uh, generally, we see that you know the 
the two types of FIFA young categories, both the classified. One is ILT instructor, instructor based training, and then there's a computer based training, which is online training available like Udemy and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, how do you think? I mean, do you really think that this uh, online uh, courses, sometimes we get paid courses as well, mm -hmm. uh, they really uh, can help you to get you somewhere? Or do you think that the uh, focus should be more on ILT? I mean, I'm, I'm, I really uh, want to know that because there are so many things which tends to confuse, you know, uh, so many online portals. They say that you take this, there's a price quoted, and then you take this course, you will be good at this. So See, how do you I think? I would uh, tell you that it really uh, when you are pursuing one course, suppose you are pursuing one analytics course, okay. Try to mm -hmm. complete it sincerely because here, if you are doing R, SAS, statistics, Excel, BVA, and SQL, then if uh, along with the Hadoop and Tableau, you are actually covering up all those things. Okay, so you are doing big data analytics, you can uh, get a chance as, data, as a data scientist also. So if you pursue so many courses at a point of time, it would be very difficult because uh, no mod, I mean, there is no model which is very, very easy. See here also the statistics That's are right. making you understand easily, but you have to understand it. If you are pursuing so many courses, how will you concentrate in each module? Okay, so it's better to pursue one course and when you're pursuing one module, give focus on that module only. Okay, just, uh, you know, when you are more confident, you're confident enough that, okay, whatever questions will be asked from this module, I would be able to answer it. Then you shift to another module or another course. And big analytics and big data uh, scientists or you know data analytics. This course is uh, covered of so many uh, important tools and concepts. So if you pursue any other courses with it, so it would be I think it would be difficult for you. But you have to master in. Each yes, part indeed of it you. is because uh, they yeah. are equally complex. They yes, are equally yes. demanding. Pluton, just uh, uh, just uh, just now, a second. Uh, Ayan, yeah, price and sales. They are having a positive relationship. Yes. Why is it so? Because when your price is increasing, okay, you want to sell more, right? You are not going to consider the consumer's side. As a producer, if the price is increasing, obviously you want to sell more to get more profit. So that is what there is a positive relationship. And yes, uh, how the interpretation is what is there positively related and one another thing you need to add that if there is one unit increase in price the sales would be increased by 25 unit on average so as for advertisement if there is one unit increase in the advertisement co cost then the sales will be increased by 75 units on average okay i hope you have got your answer right Okay, great. Yeah, so okay, guys. So and you know what? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the thing is, uh, whenever we look at you know uh, the job portal, mm -hmm. uh, wherein uh, when uh, they uh, send out ads for recruitment of people, mm -hmm. I see as in you know they are looking for like the the kind of criteria they put down. I mean, I mean, they are expecting nobody less than an Einstein or Newton, it seems like. You know, you should be doing predictive, you should be having knowledge of machine learning, you should be having knowledge of neural networks, you should be having knowledge on chat, or Python, I goodness. That is the place where I actually think that how, how can one person, you know, master it all? And that's actually in most of the job ads, I see the same kind of pattern over and over again. Uh, yeah, I I can understand, but you have to master in this uh, R, SAS, or Excel, or and SQL, and obviously you will get ample of chances. So I can assure you that. Uh, so uh, obviously mm. they want so many things from you, but they are actually looking for a specific role. Okay, for a particular role. So you are going to use R, either R or Python. 
okay or suppose uh, uh, you should know the c++ or r if you know the c++ you will be responsible for some sort of job and for if you know r or sas uh, you know your responsibility your responsibility would be different so it depends on the job role so don't get confused looking at those job portals or anything uh, just whatever you are doing try to master in it and definitely you will get a very good opportunity over here okay keeping five fingers first okay so thank you guys hope you people have uh, got it interesting and useful and now people are not scared of statistics so i'm just finishing uh, this session best of luck take care thank you thank you